Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of R Studio. This is Professor Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to perform multiple linear regression model in R Studio and how to interpret the result. You can find more videos on R Studio, econometrics, SPSS, statistics, and economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin with the idea of multiple linear regression model. The multiple linear regression model is a statistical technique that uses two or more independent variables to predict the outcome of a dependent variable. So basically it is the extension of simple linear regression model in which we have only one independent variable and one dependent variable. Here we have two or more independent variables to predict the outcome or the value of a dependent variable. So I'm going to use the data RIUM package, which can be downloaded from uh, by, by using install.packages command. So you can download these two and then run the library command. The R script is available on my website. The link is given in the description. So you can easily copy paste the R script. Now in this data RIUM command uh, package, we have the data on marketing. So see the description of the marketing data. This data frame contains the impact of three advertising medias, YouTube, Facebook, and newspaper on sales. So data are the advertising budget in thousands of dollars along with the sales. And the advertising experiment has been repeated 200 times. See data here. We have the data on YouTube expenditure, Facebook expenditure and newspaper expenditure. And we are interested to know the effect of this advertisement expenditure on sales of the product. So sales is our dependent variable. YouTube, Facebook and newspaper advertisement expenditure are our independent variables. So let's save this command in MLRM. That is multiple linear regression model. Now to run multiple linear regression or simple linear regression, we use LM command. So write LM, then sales, and then TDL symbol. So sales is our dependent variable. So now we are telling the software that sales is our uh, dependent variable. And this depends on our independent variable. So YouTube plus Facebook plus newspaper and these variables are saved in marketing and then write summary MLRF. Select these two and run them together. So we have the result in the console window. Let's understand the result. So first we need to interpret the F statistic because that shows the overall significance of our model. So you can see F statistic is 570.3 and associated P value is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, F statistic is statistically significant. F ratio is statistically significant. So basically we are saying that our regression model is better than the intercept only model because F ratio is statistically significant. Now let's see the value of adjusted R square. It is 0 0.8956. So basically R square helps us to understand that uh, the, the variation in dependent variable due to independent variable. So here 89.56% of variation in sales can be explained by our uh, independent variables. So YouTube, Facebook, and uh, newspaper. Now let's understand coefficients. So first 
we have intercept so intercept is statistically significant the value is 3.52 and associated p value is 0.05 and therefore we have statistically significant intercept then youtube the value of the youtube coefficient is 0.045 associated p value is lower than 0.05 so we have significant effect of YouTube advertisement expenditure on sales. Here we can write YouTube advertisement expenditure has significant effect on sales. Let's check Facebook. The Facebook coefficient value is 0 0.188. Associated p-value is less than 0 0.05. So we have the significant value. So Facebook advertisement expenditure has significant effect on sales. Let's see newspaper. The newspaper coefficient is minus 0 0.0010. Associated p-value is 0 0.86, which is higher than 0 0.05. And therefore, it is statistically insignificant. So newspaper expenditure, newspaper advertisement expenditure has no significant effect on sales. So now we can write our multiple linear regression model as sales is equal to 3.52 plus 0 0.05, 0 0.045 YouTube plus 0 0.188 Facebook. This is our multiple linear regression model. That means if company increases the advertisement expenditure on YouTube by $100, the sales will increase by 4.5 units. If company increases the advertisement expenditure on Facebook by $100, the sales will increase by 18.8 .8 units. This is how we interpret the slope coefficient or coefficients uh, for our independent variables. So this is how we can perform multiple linear regression model in R Studio and uh, interpretation of uh, R Studio. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.